I'm going to be reading today to you Aesop's Fables 1. A Case for Patience A half-starved fox who saw the hollow of an oak tree, some bread and meat left there by shepherds, crept in and ate it. With his stomach distended, he could not get out again. Another fox, passing by and hearing his cries and lamentations, came up and asked what was the matter. On being told, he said, well, stay there till you are as thin as you were when you went in, then you'll get out quite easily. This tale helps to show how time will solve difficult problems. Number two, friend or foe. A fox slipped in a climbing fence. To save himself from falling, he clutched at a briar bush. The thorns made his paws bleed, and in the, his pain he cried out, Oh dear, I turn to you for help, and you have made me worse off than before. Yes, my friend, said the briar. You made a bad mistake when you tried to lay hold of me. I lay hold of everyone myself. This incident illustrates the folly of those who run to, for aid to people whose nature is to hurt rather than to help. Three, sour grapes. A hungry fox tried to reach some clusters of grapes, which he saw hanging from a vine trained on a tree, but they were too high. So he went off and comforted himself by saying they weren't ripe anyhow. In the same way, so in the same way some men, when they fall through their own incapacity, blame circumstance. Four. Actions speak louder than words. A fox was being chased by huntsmen and begged a woodcutter whom he saw to hide him. The man told him to go to his hut. Soon afterwards, the huntsman arrived and asked if he had seen a fox pass by. He answered no, but as he spoke, he jerked his thumb towards the place where the fox was hidden. However, they believed his statement and did not take the hint. When the fox saw they had gone, he came out and made off without speaking. The woodsman reproached him for not even saying a word of acknowledgement for his deliverance. I would have thanked you, the fox called back, if your actions and your character agreed with your words. This fable is aimed at men who make public profession of virtue, but behave like rogues. 5. Fools die for want of wisdom. A monkey made a great impression by dancing before an assembly of animals. Who elected him their king. The fox was jealous. Noticing a snare with a piece of meat in it, he took the monkey to it and said, here is a choice tidbit that I have found. Instead of eating it myself, I have kept it for you as a prerequisite of your royal office. So take it. The monkey went at it carelessly and was caught in the snare. When he accused the fox of laying a trap for him, the fox replied, fancy a fool like you, friend monkey being king of the animals. People who attempt things without due consideration suffer for it and get laughed at into the bargain.